Now would be the perfect time for you to go to your office because I need to spend some alone time with Spinelli. Uh, Spinelli's not here. But I need to see him. You can explain it to me first. Explain what? This. Oh my God, I cannot believe you have this picture. Has Spinelli seen it? No. How did you get it? It, it came this morning addressed to me in this envelope from the gallery. That doesn't make sense. Why would he send it to you? He who? Franco, of course. I, I know he's some sort of artistic genius, but why would he take this picture and send it to you of all people? Okay, wait, 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 wait. How and when was this picture even taken? Well, I was with Franco at the art gallery, which you know, because you were there when you refused to meet him, which was really Please, rude. Please, where was this picture taken? I'm trying to tell you if you would stop interrupting me. Look, Franco wanted to leave the gallery, and he asked me to go with him, and I was trying to convince him to do the photo shoot for Crimson, so I went. Where? To a studio. Where is his studio? I, I don't know. He blindfolded me when we got in the limo. Look, I thought that was really weird, okay? But I was trying to convince him to do the shoot. Did Franco force you to do this? It's more like I didn't really know what he wanted until it was too late. S Spinelli cannot see that picture. Did you know Franco was taking pictures of you? Well, I heard his camera going off, and I just figured he was doing art, and I should just go with it. Did you take off the blindfold? Eventually, I did, and when I realized what he was doing, I freaked out. And how, how did Franco react to that? Well, he apologized, and it seemed sincere. Or at least I wanted to believe it was sincere, so I didn't leave. What did his studio look like? A loft with big windows, and he had some art propped up against the walls and some sheets covering stuff. Okay, do you know what part of town you were in? No clue, but we drove for like 10 or 15 minutes. I don't know in what direction. Did you hear any sounds from the street, anything that could help you identify the location? Not really. You must have seen or heard something, Maxie. Look, if you're implying that I'm not really good at noticing stuff, I'll have you know I'm incredibly observant. I can go to a fashion event and then later in the night tell you every single outfit and shoe that was worn. But you didn't hear anything in Franco's studio. Okay, maybe I heard an occasional passing car, but I didn't hear like boats or a train or anything like that. I'm sorry, that's all I can remember. I just don't understand why Franco would take that picture and send it to you, of all people, unless it really is art. What does that mean? Well, Franco told me he thinks that you're another artist. Isn't that weird? I mean, that's why he wanted to meet you at the gallery, so maybe he sent the picture to try to impress you. Hey, what's up? Got another picture in the mail. Oh, my. God, Franco. It's from the gallery. I already asked Maxie about it. She said that Franco took this picture when she uh, went with him back to his studio. He blindfolded her mm -hmm. in the limo so so she wouldn't know where he was taking her. Uh, okay, so Franco blindfolds her, takes her back to his place, puts her in his mock crime scene setup, takes a picture and sends it to you. What the hell is that about? This guy really wants me to notice him. Why? I don't know why. But I'm assuming that Franco and the homeless guy are the same person. He's going to a, a lot of trouble to get my attention. I refuse to meet him at the gallery. Then he takes Maxie back to his studio, puts her in this position, takes a picture and sends it to me. I, I just don't understand why I go through so much effort. What does a big time artist like Franco want with you? <sighs> my life's on the line. Second photo I got this month. First one of Claudia. Now this, you think they're connected? Franco just happened to be in the woods when Claudia was killed? Yeah, well maybe he was following me. And did what? Took a picture of her dead body and sent it to you instead of the police? Jason, this is getting out I, there. I understand. You, you saw Franco's art. It's twisted. But I, I don't understand why stalk you. I, I What's the motivation? I don't know what the motivation is. I don't. I, I don't even know if these photos are related. I mean, I could have Spinelli check to see if the photos came from the same type of camera, but I do not want Spinelli to see this picture of Maxi. We are going to go to the gallery first, and we're going to pretend that we're interested in buying one of his pieces, say that we want to meet the artist. I mean, it's worth a try. Okay. All right, thanks. Yep, it's open till eight. All right, let's go. I, I, I'm feeling really bad for Maxie right now. I know she's really ambitious about her career. I know she didn't think this through, and I just hope it doesn't come back well, to haunt I'm her. I'm the one man. that Franco wants. We just need to find out why. Let's go. Oh, uh, greetings. 
you all are leaving just as I arrive? Um, actually, yeah. Jason's helping me out on a, an investigation. Well, for McCall and Jack, yeah, I could be of assistance. Well, we'll let, you, we'll let you know. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, before, before you go, if you could spare a few moments. See, Maximus is reasonable. Yeah, can, can we do this later? Possibly. We're really in a hurry. Yeah, sorry. Well, uh, good luck, whatever your mission may be. something off with this guy. Welcome to the Proet Gallery. If I can answer any questions... Yes, you can, actually. Um, we were here for Franco's show the other night, and we're interested in buying one of his pieces. You're Jason Morgan, aren't you? Yes. You're exactly as Mr. Franco described. We've been expecting you. 